morning, good morning, and welcome to Philly Live. I'm your girl, Anya Lachelle. Happy Thursday. Okay, who doesn't love a night at the theater, darling? The fourth longest running show in Broadway history is coming back to Philadelphia this month. Cats has been beloved by fans all over the world for over 40 years, and this production is teaming up with the local animal shelter to promote the cats in our city. Sheila Wacko spoke to a cast member of the musical and met a very special theater goer looking for a home. Jellicle Cats come one, come all. Jellicles come to the Jellicle Ball. Cats is making its return to the Miller Theater. The musical tells the story of the Jellicle Cats, a colony of kitties that gathers for the annual Jellicle Ball, where they decide which cat will have a chance to be reborn into a new life with plenty of singing and dancing along the way. You'll hear all of the timeless music with some updated twists, including new dance routines incorporated into the original choreography. So there's always something going on no matter where you look. And each little moment, have a story, like their story. Each cat has a story. Yuka Natsuka plays Victoria the White Cat, a featured dancer in the musical. To Yuka, Cats has stood the test of time for generations because every audience member can connect to something about each character, including hers. I would have that like innocence and just like exploring the world and growing little by little. Like so many dance and sing and costume, lighting. It's beautiful. <laughs> to celebrate Cat's return to Philadelphia, the Kimmel Center is teaming up with the Pennsylvania SPCA to shine a spotlight on adoptable cats looking for forever homes. Tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., fabulous cats like Tim will take center stage. Move over, Gus. There's a new theater cat in town. But there's so many cats in need around the city that it's a chance to sort of match what is a, a show that audience love with a uh, animal that uh, audiences love as well. Tim is looking for a family that will give him lots of love and snuggle. With his people, he climbs up on their shoulders like a little bird and he chirps in their ear. He gives them cuddles and purrs and he follows you from room to room basically. Oh, he's purring. He loves you. He's so easily adept to everybody. He's good with dogs and other cats as long as they give him some space and he's even got an adventurous streak. He's perfect for almost any home really. He loves to walk on a leash. So if you are the outdoorsy type, he's with you. He loves the water, so we started harness training him so that way he can adventure out with his friends. We started with bathtubs and sinks, anywhere a toddler would go, he went. And then we went into streams, rivers. He's a pretty outdoorsy cat. Tim is a big fan of the bathtub, so he needs his favorite rubber ducky to go home with, but we'll give you that for him as well. It's his first time at a theater. He's all dressed up for the occasion. Tell me about his beautiful ensemble he has on today. He looks very dapper. So Tim wore his best bow tie to impress everybody that meets him. He is one of our friendliest and most social cats and super food motivated. So if you shake that bag, he'll walk right over. Oh my. <laughs> Tim is diabetic and takes twice daily insulin injections. The PSPCA is offering a full year of care to Tim's adopters, which includes insulin, food, and behavioral support in case he has trouble adjusting. He is 11, his birthday's coming up, so we're hoping to find him a home before he turns 12. Adopting a cat like Tim won't just change the cat's life, it will change yours too. Just as Yuka, who adopted Gigi when she was just a kitten. Having her around is like such a dream, you know? Like, I always talk to her. Like, it's just like having a like, great company. I don't know, it's like my baby. <laughs> Come meet Tim and all of his feline friends at this special adoption event tomorrow from 11 to 1. And then come see all of the Jellicle Cats when Cats opens at the Miller Theater on March 14th. the little meow how cute okay now just to be clear tim is a very special cat friend of the miller theater so he was invited as a distinguished guest but uh, that doesn't mean that you need to bring your own pets when you come to see the show leave them leave them at home uh, you can meet your new furry family member from the pennsylvania spca tomorrow again from 11 to 1 at the kimmel center for the performing arts and catch the return of cats at the miller theater from march 14th through the 19th you can get more details in the philly live section of nbc 10 or the NBC10 app.